So today I'm talking about a Dodge with the P0562 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a Dodge P0562 code? Well, it's a system voltage low. And what does this mean? Well, the alternator is supposed to be putting out a set voltage, usually around 14 volts. And the onboard computer's not seeing this, it's seeing that below this range. And so it's sending out this code and it's gonna have to be troubleshooting, no why? And what are some symptoms? Well, the dashboard battery light will likely come on. You also might get some kind of charging message or something like that. Also, if the alternator is not charging the battery correctly, it's going to go down dead and then that'll cause the vehicle not to start and so what are some possible causes well it could be a blown fuse could be the alternator could be the voltage regulator might be a bad battery cable battery could be defective and possibly the battery sensor and so the first thing to do when this happens is go be sure that no fuse is blue because if a fuse blue then it can cause issues it's going to vary a little bit on the fuse or fuses that's control on the charging system it's going to depend on the year the model and things like this but basically go and check your fuses if it's a newer vehicle you could check for the battery sensor fuse this older dodges often just had one big fuse Fuse. Many newer ones can have multiple fuses. They might have a, one big fuse, and then they might also have a battery sensor fuse. For example, this is a 2015 Dodge Journey, and this one has a battery sensor, and if that fuse was a blow, then it would cause issues. So the first thing to do is go be sure no fuse is blue. And then the next thing to do is go check out your battery connections. Be sure they all look like they're good, they're not corroded, they're not damaged or anything like this, because if there's any bad battery connections, then it can cause issues. So go and check those out. Be sure those look good. And if you have a multimeter, there's some simple tests that you could do to see if the alternator is outputting voltage voltage or what's going on inside of the system and basically to do this you just use a multimeter that can read DC voltage and you check and see what the voltage is when the vehicle's not running and then you start up the engine and you check to see what the voltage is when the engine's running the alternator should be putting out at least 13 and a half to 14 and a half volts usually right around 14 and if it's not doing this, then you know there's an issue with that alternator. You can look out what the rated output is for your particular vehicle, since there can be some differences, but it's usually around 14 to 14 and a half volts. And so if you do this test and the engine's running and it's not putting out at least 13 and a half volts, then you know there's an issue inside the charging system. So the next thing to do is to check out that alternator. Be sure the belt's on there good, that it's spinning and things like this. If the belt looks like it's good and, and you're not seeing the right output voltage, then the next thing to do is to take it out, take it to an automotive store and they'll test it for free and be sure that it's working because if you're not getting the right output voltage when the engine's running then the most common cause is going to be that the alternator's gone bad and so if you take it to an automotive store and the alternator tests good then the next thing to keep in mind is that some dodges have an external voltage regulator sometimes they're built into the back of the alternator which is very common but sometimes they're separate especially on older dodges there's even some there's even some dodges that have the voltage regulator built into the onboard computer but basically keep a lookout because if you have an external voltage regulator that's separate from the alternator and and it's not built in then you're going to want to have that tested or replaced because a bad voltage regulator is going to cause issues another thing that can cause problems is a bad battery sensor and not all dodges have battery sensors most older ones won't have this but many newer ones do and it's usually located right up on the battery terminal or somewhere real close to it and if that battery sensor goes bad then there might not be no problem inside the system but it's reporting bad data back to the onboard computer so the onboard computer just thinks there is and so if you have a newer dodge go and look and see because you might have a battery current sensor and if that sensor goes bad then it could cause issues and it's also possible that that battery's gone bad although usually this won't cause a low charge message when the engine's running but it is possible that one of these cells inside of here has just gotten so damaged that it's pulling a drain on the alternator when the vehicle's running and so if you're checking everything else out and you can't solve this problem then it's a good idea to take the battery out take it to an automotive store they'll test it for free and be sure that it's working properly but the next thing on the list is to check to see if that battery's been damaged and another thing that could cause this issue although not so common but it does happen sometimes is that these alternators need a really good ground going to every Thing to, in order to work properly and especially if the voltage regulator is separate there needs to be a really good ground connection between the alternator and that voltage regulator and so go check out all the grounding terminals and be sure they all look like they're good that there's no issues there there's no damage or anything like that because bad ground wires can cause these alternators to do strange things and just be all over the place and of course anything wrong with the wiring going from the back of the alternator to all the battery cables to all the terminals and things like this if, if there's a bad connection in any of the wiring then it's going to cause issues so be sure to look out for any bad wiring connections and so that's basically it i just want to give an overview of how you go about fixing a dodge with the p0562 code if you have anything to add please comment down below if you have any questions ask me and i'll try to answer them if this video helps you please click like please click subscribe and have a good day